more and more people are becoming increasingly skeptical about the existence of climate change. That's according to a new BBC poll. Only one in four people now thinks that climate change is happening and that it's man-made. And roughly the same number don't think it's happening at all. Well, our environment correspondent David Shookman has been looking through the findings. David. Sophie, thank you. Now, this is just one poll, but the headline out of it is very clear. The British public seem to have become a lot more sceptical about climate change and the explanations for it. The long winter may explain this shift in opinion. When you're struggling in snow, it's hard to believe all the talk of global warming. Or maybe it's the doubts about climate science, the dodgy data about glaciers in the Himalayas. Either way, the figures suggest a real change. A thousand people were interviewed over the past two days. First question, are climate change and global warming taking place? Three months ago, a poll for The Times found 83% saying yes. Now that's fallen to 75%. People were then asked which statement they agreed with. That it's an established fact that climate change is largely man-made. Three months ago, 41% agreed. That's in line with mainstream science. Now that's down to just 26%. Those thinking it's not conclusively proved, it was 32%, now it's 38%. Those thinking climate change is happening, but is not man-made, up from 8% to 10%. And the number believing it isn't happening at all has surged from 15% to 25%. This is worrying for all major political parties. Here's one of the government's top scientists. The fact that the British public has got less confidence in the evidence that climate change is occurring and that we humans are causing it is actually very serious. It possibly means they won't take the actions that we need to protect the Earth's climate system. Emails hacked from the computers of climate researchers have raised questions about integrity. But these findings indicate that that hasn't changed minds. The evidence on the poll suggests it isn't the emails and the leaks about... Um, dodgy science, or however you want to describe it, um, it could be the weather, it's really hard to know. Now, just as these findings come in, American scientists have news about the past month. For the world as a whole, it was the hottest January for 30 years. Now, you can see the full results of our survey at bbc.co.uk slash climate poll. Sophie. David, thank you very much.